everyone, Ghulam Ahmed with Gene Activated. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about a topic that uh, has been on my mind for quite some time and it's a very important topic. I think it is, this is going to be my most important video. So if you haven't watched any of my other, video, any of my other videos, make sure you watch this video to the end. And if you know anyone that has any sort of chronic disease, you know, heart disease, um, cancer, diabetes, they're overweight, they're obese, um, any sort of condition, or if you're struggling yourself with any sort of health or fitness related problem, then this video is for you and it's probably the most important fitness video you will ever watch. And I request you from the bottom of my heart to share this video with anybody that you know that will find it helpful that has the same problems because it's going to impact your life in an amazing way, I'm hoping. And what I want to do today is put perspective in your life about health and fitness and your diet. And pretty much, how are you gonna be able to live the longest you possibly can, given that you wanna live a very long, healthy, and happy life? So, what I wanna talk about today is people's idea of how to live their life when it comes to food and how to make the right choices. Now, we make decisions every single day from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed at night. You know, whether it's, you know, if you're gonna shower in the morning or not, if you're gonna go to, the, if you're gonna go to work, when you're gonna go to work, what are you gonna do at work? What are you gonna wear before you go to work, right? If you're gonna pick up your kids at school, who's gonna do it? So you're making small little decisions every single day throughout the day, and it's like clockwork. But the one thing we don't really make a decision about that often and that cautiously is what we're eating and what we're putting in our bodies. So what I wanted to put in perspective was that if you don't think about that and if you don't have a, um, the right setup, the right design, the right choices that you're gonna make for your own food intake, then something else is gonna make it set on pilot. Old habits, bad habits, whatever habits your parents gave you, whatever habit society is, you know, marketing is gonna become your habit and you don't know if it's actually good for you or bad for you. Most often or uh, often than not, it's gonna be bad for you. So the way I wanted to put it in perspective was, um, number one is, again, I mentioned you have to make these decisions and it's a conscious choice and it's an expensive choice and people don't wanna make the investment. So the, the way I like to think about it is that, you know, every day we buy lots of clothes, we buy lots of, lots of flashy things, bags, cars, this and that. We're spending money on these things that we're wearing or we're using. So if I give you an example now, I want to give you an example. One is if I take a shirt, right, and there is urine on it, somebody urinated it, it's a brand name, you can, you know, Gucci, Gucci, whatever you want to think of, like, I don't know what a brand name is, or Nike, whatever, it's a good brand name of a shirt, and somebody urinates on it, right, and I have it in my hand, and I give it to you, and I say, here, this shirt is $40 or $50, where, put it on, right, are you going to put it on? Right? There's no way you're going to touch that. You're going to be like, get that thing away from me, you know? Like, and you're going to throw it away. So you're not going to take something that has some sort of urine or something bad on it or maybe even smells, even if, it, even if it's dirty, forget urine, if it's just dirty, you're not going to put it on. Even if I, and I tell you it's $50, here, take it. You're not going to put it on. You're not going to put it on top of you. But you're going to wear something that's clean. You're going to spend that $50 and put that stuff on top of you because you think it looks nice or it feels nice or it is nice or it's considered nice in society. Now I want to give you another example. What if I told you that I will give you something, okay, where you're gonna have to pay me about $14 for one or two days, that's the cost of whatever it is that I'm about to give you, right? And what it's gonna do, it's gonna give you short-term pleasure, it's gonna de decrease your stress slightly, but in the long term, it's going to give you, uh, the probability of giving you lung cancer is very high, it's most likely gonna give you lung cancer, it's going to increase your blood pressure, it's going to increase your cholesterol, it's going to increase your chances of having a stroke or heart disease. And I'm going to tell you that you have to be paying me $14 for it, and it's going to last about one or two days, and you're going to keep doing that for me. And you're going to keep buying it for me for this thing that I'm going to give you. So would you buy this for me? Um, so you're going to pay me, it's potentially for something that's going to give you cancer. I'm going to give it to you, and you're going to take it, and you're going to consume it, and it's going to give you cancer. So would you take it? So I'm guessing most of you will say no. But what if I told you that the thing that I'm talking about is a cigarette, right? So 
you know, people smoke this. Now it's not even cool. I don't know why people still smoke it. Back in the 70s, 80s, it was cool to smoke a cigarette, but people are still smoking cigarettes, and everybody knows this will cause cancer, lung cancer. It literally puts tar on top of your lungs, so your lungs become black. You've probably seen photos of a, a healthy lung and a lung that of a smoker, and you'll see that it's black versus pink, right? So I'm, you're pretty much paying. I'm paying you. You're paying money. I'm giving this to you. You're smoking it and you're getting your chance, you're increasing your chances of getting cancer and potentially dying earlier, okay? Example number one. Now, what if I gave you another example? What if I said, what if I give you poison, okay? So you're gonna pay me about $50 a month or $50 a week, depending on how much you consume of this poison. I'm gonna give you a poison, you're gonna take it, and when you drink it, you're gonna get, again, temporary relief, you know, you're gonna forget about your stress and whatnot, but this poison, your body literally treats it like a poison, your liver starts processing, your kidney starts processing it like a poison, it stops everything else and processes this first, it's going to give you a potential chance of having liver failure and liver cancer, kidney failure, again high blood pressure, cholesterol, and your higher chance of having cardiovascular disease, a stroke. On top of that, it's also going to cause you know, damage to your brain neurons, it's gonna kill your, your brain cells, things that make you actually think and function at a high level. And it's gonna cause a lot of domestic problems, problems in your household, maybe you're gonna get angry, maybe you're gonna get violent, maybe you're not gonna do things you don't remember. Now, you might be thinking that's a pretty good bargain, no? So um, you're gonna pay me, I'm gonna, sorry, you're, you're gonna pay me for this when I give you this poison and you're gonna drink it. Now, would you drink this poison? I'm literally gonna give you poison, drink it. Are you gonna take it? And you're gonna pay me for it, right? I highly doubt it. So what I'm talking about is drinking. Right, so people consume alcohol on a regular basis, and I don't care what you say. You know, yeah, there's studies that say okay, you can drink. You know, uh, uh, drinking alcohol is good for you, yeah, but it's only this much, two and a half ounces. Who drinks just this much alcohol every single day? Nobody does. You're obviously, you're obviously always gonna drink more because you're not gonna feel anything drinking something like this, right? So the idea is again, you're paying to put something inside your body that's literally poison that your body treats as poison, it's not poison, but your body treats it as poison. You can overdose on alcohol as well and die, but long term, you will, you will inevitably get liver cancer. Given you have amazing, amazing genetics, you might live your whole life, but you're also gonna take 10 to 20, 30, 40 years off of your lifespan. So if you were gonna live to 100, you're now gonna only live to 65, 75, 80, you're gonna have a heart attack or liver failure and you're gonna die. Example number three, this is my favorite one. Now, what if I told you that I'm gonna, you're gonna again pay me about three to five dollars, depending on where you're gonna get it, if you're gonna get it more or less, and it's gonna smell really good, it's gonna taste really good, and but by the time you're done eating it, you're not gonna feel so good, but it just tasted really good. So I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna take something like this, and this is gonna clog your arteries potentially down the road, cause liver, sorry, not liver, but cause heart attacks eventually because of your clogged arteries. It's gonna increase your cholesterol and it's also going to potentially give you diabetes and make you obese, okay, make you gain weight. So what if I told you that you were gonna be purchasing that, would you now buy it, right? So I know I'm going on and on about these examples, but they're important because I'm trying to put perspective into what you're consuming on a regular basis. Now for most of you, you're not probably smoking or you're not probably drinking. You might be, you might not be, something to think about. But this is the example, it's something that we're all guilty of, right? So what if I told you that these french fries, are, the french fries are, is what that's going to do to you. This is going to clog your arteries and it's going to potentially give you heart attacks in the future. It's not french fries, it's just fried food. Any type of fried food is going to do that for you. So we consume these on a regular basis, right? Now, the, uh, the point that I'm trying to make is that you wouldn't take something that is dirty, that's a shirt, that's dirty, or even has anything on it, and you wouldn't put it on top of you but you're willing to put stuff like that, that's literally poison for you or really bad for you, or you know it's gonna potentially cause you cancer or heart attacks or heart disease. You're willing to put that inside your body, like literally inside and it's gonna become a part of you. Take that in for a second, does that make any sense to you? You know the number one leading cause of death in the world is cardiovascular disease. 17.9 million people every single year die from cardiovascular disease. Now in our South Asian community, Whenever you hear of somebody passing away, what is it? Why did they, how did they pass away? Oh, you had a heart attack. Oh, you had a stroke. You had a heart attack, heart attack, heart attack, heart attack. 
Our diet is designed, okay, to give you heart attacks. It's oil, tail, like everywhere, okay, and just carbs and carbs and carbs and carbs. I'm not saying carbs are bad or, or good or whatnot, but at the end of the day, our, our diet is just designed to give you heart attacks. Samosa, jalebiya, you know, all of these things that we have all day, it's just not right. So I just wanted to put that in perspective. So the next time that you eat something, I want you to think twice about what is it that you're putting inside your body and how is that going to have an effect. Now, why is that important? Why is it important to know what you're putting inside your body and what does it actually do to your body? So, if you don't know the saying, you are what you eat, it's kind of true, right? The reason it's true is our, our body is made up of trillions of cells and these cells are dividing on a regular basis. When one cell becomes weak and damaged, it is replaced by a brand new cell that the body now produces. Now, if you're an engineer, which most of our South Asian communities uh, guys are or girls are, so the way engineers think is they think in code. Everything is coded in computers and computer science. Everything is a code. You give the computer a code, that code, that information that it has translates into an action. So you type in a code and it results in one action. Our bodies are designed the same way. So our body has a code which is called the DNA. The DNA inside has certain codes that then makes something happen, that makes, that creates the cell. Now, the DNA is information, the DNA, the code that's inside it, that's information that the cell needs for it to make itself. If it doesn't have that information, it cannot make itself. So, where do we get that information from? Right? It's not like we're putting in new information all the time. The only place we're getting that information from is the food that we feed ourselves. So, whatever food that you're giving your body, whatever you're putting inside your body, your body is then breaking it down and turning it into information and using that information to replicate new cells. So if you're putting in crap inside your body, all this processed food and junk and cigarettes and, and drinking and all of that, your body is utilizing whatever you're giving it. It doesn't have, it's not making its own and it's gonna then replicate cells like that. Okay, that's why you can see that there's something called a biological age and there's something called a chronological age. You can see when somebody's aging more than they're supposed to in their, in, in, from their age compared to their age. So for example, your chronological age is, you know, the time you're born to the amount of years that have passed by, right? So for example, say you're 30, that's your chronological age. But your biological age is your age of how fast your body and the cells in your body are replicating. How fast are they growing? How fast are they getting, you know, older and older? So for example, your biological age may be 40 or it may be 20, depending on how you've been treating your body, right? Now, have you ever noticed, you know, if you're walking, if you, if you meet somebody for the first time and, you know, they, they look very, very young. So you ask them for their age, you're like, you know, they look like, okay, for example, you ask them, they're like, they, you, you, you're like, how old are you? They're like, oh, um, you know, I'm 35. But in your head, you're thinking they're 25, right? Now, that's a good thing. That means that that person's biological age is better than their chronological age, which means they've been taking care of their body, they've been feeding it the right stuff, they've been exercising, they've been... They've been, you know, uh, they've been making sure that their body is in a healthy state. So they actually look younger. They have slowed down their aging process. Versus, you know, when you meet someone and you ask them, like, oh, how old are you, man? And, you know, they say that they're, they're 30, but they actually look 40 or 50. That person, I guarantee it, has either been smoking, drinking, or has been having really bad uh, eating habits, and they're obese. So when you're obese, you have bad eating habits, and you have all of these things that you're consuming that you're not supposed to, your body starts aging at a faster rate and what happens, you end up taking off years, decades off of your lifespan. This is why it is so important to know exactly what it is that you're putting inside your body and why it's so important to put in the right stuff in your body and not the wrong stuff because it's literally going to translate into what you look like. So, like I mentioned before, our bodies, they replicate all the time. Our cells are dividing every time. Did you know that every 10 years, your body's cells completely regenerate? All of your organs and your bones, they regenerate themselves every 10 years. So that means that you are creating a new copy of your DNA every 10 years. So whatever your original baby picture was, 10 years down there, that's a copy of your first baby picture. Then the next 10 years is the copy of your 10 years, not the baby picture. So every year you're making a copy of yourself from the copy, right? Not from the original. So when you see a photocopy, if you were going to photocopy the same thing over and over again from the photocopy and take the photocopy again and again and again, you're going to have an image that is less and less clear.
right? So by the time you're hitting seven, 70, you are now a seventh generation copy of your baby picture. So you see how you want to make sure that you're aging slower and the way you can do that is by again eating healthy. So my point is that it's important to know what you're putting in your body and you can't just make these decisions lightly. You can't just take whatever it is that you feel like eating or whatever is important or whatever is in front of you and like, okay, I'll just take it. But it's literally going to have an effect on your body in the long run. So at the end of the day, what if I can tell you that there's one thing that just, there's a lot of things that you can do, but what if I can tell you there's just one thing that you can do today that will make you live longer? by maybe 10 to 20, maybe even 30 years. And what if I told you that one thing is free? Would you do it? It's not gonna cost you any money and it's actually good for you. So if you're ready, that one thing is just walking, okay? For now, if you can just walk for 10 minutes to even 30 minutes, I don't even care if it's, t if it's just 10 minutes. If you can just walk for 10 minutes every single day for the rest of your life, you're gonna put on at least 10 to 20 years, even 30 years on your lifespan and you will get rid of you know, all of these diseases that you may have, especially if you're diabetic. So I hope that was helpful, guys. I hope you guys found that, you know, really, really useful to you. And it really puts some things in perspective and you really are going to think twice before you make a decision to put something unhealthy, drink something or smoke something inside your own body in your own temple. And that you're able to actually share this message with somebody else that will find it helpful. And, you know, I always think of it as, your body is not yours, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a vessel. You know what the chances are of you being alive? The chances of you being alive or the fact that you were born were one in one trillion. Do you take that in for a second? So the fact that you were actually born was a miracle, okay? And now that you've been born, God has given you this body. It's a vessel, it's a safekeeping for you to live out your life the best you possibly can, to help as many humans as you can, to be a good person. You can't do that if you're not healthy. Okay, I don't care how much money you've made in the world, I don't care how much money you're currently making. If you don't have health, you don't have anything else. What's the point of making all this money and being successful and whatnot if you're not gonna be able to enjoy it and live to tell about it, you know, and if you can't enjoy the time with your with your with your family and, and your friends. So it's a vessel. You need to take care of this body, whatever your body is and why wouldn't you take care of it? If you take care of it, it will take care of you. You're gonna be healthy, you're gonna be more efficient, you're gonna have better performance at work, and you're just gonna be overall happier. And you owe it to to God or to whoever's superpower, superpower that you believe that, you know, they gave you, God gave you something and you're gonna take care of it. If you don't, you're only gonna damage yourself. Why would you wanna damage yourself? That's what I don't understand about people. You don't wanna get anything bad. You never wanna buy a defective product. You never wanna buy anything that's dirty. You never wanna buy anything that's not that's not good for you, but you're willing to damage your own body, like your own self. It doesn't make any sense, but I guess it's perspective, right? And I hope I gave you that today. Guys, if you're new to my channel, please share my video with your friends, and I hope you guys subscribe, and I'll be posting more talk shows like this to help you guys out. Make sure you guys comment in the section below and let me know what you thought of my video.